Hey, I'm Father Roderick, and you may know me as a Star Wars fan, but I'm actually also a huge fan of the Ghostbusters franchise. When that movie came out in 1984, the first one, I was 16 years old, I was in high school, and I loved that movie. I've seen it more times than I can remember. Five years later, when Ghostbusters 2 came out, I was already in seminary studying to become a priest. And I loved that movie just as much as the first one. And then nothing, silence, until 2016 when I got all excited about the announcement of a reboot of the Ghostbusters franchise with an all-female cast. Unfortunately, that movie was not what I expected it to be and it just didn't work for me. So, imagine my surprise when I heard that they wanted to do yet another reboot. It's actually not a reboot, it's a, it's a sequel to Ghostbusters 2 with also a couple of members of the original cast. I was so excited and the trailer is right here on my iPad, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I wanna share with you my first reaction. Here we go. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? Honestly, my mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. Oh, this is very different from our name. the first one. This is a creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the a middle. Creepy of farmhouse, there we go. Why'd you bring me up here? Entertainment value? <laughs> this looks like a tea movie. Uh oh. Things go what wrong. Is that? I don't know. Stranger things. Somehow, That's a familiar the town color is green. Near a tectonic plate that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music even, is shaking on a daily basis. This looks good. Under the dining table now. Did they build up the tension and everything? Oh, do you think it's an earthquake? Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? This has a very strong I Stranger Things vibe. Whoa, killer replica. Awesome. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Oh, that is cool. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. 30 years, that's New York after, after like the, the second movie. Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. Ah, oh, they even got the radar my and everything. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Who are you? Oh, the costumes! Next summer. Call it fate. Man, this looks good. Call hey, E.T. That's totally E.T. Call it karma. I believe that everything happens for More a More rumbling. Oh, wow. Come on, darling. What? Yes! <laughs> I love it! It has a gunner seat? Oh, that is so cool! Oh, it's got all the original sounds and everything. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> After that was great. That that's so, you know, harken back to the original two movies. And at the same time, it does something very different. It, it takes you away from the city, takes you out in the open. So it, it definitely shows that it's a this is a new a new phase in the Ghostbusters franchise. But it does so well what what I think the recent reboot of 2016 failed to do. 2016 was basically. That it was a reboot. It's just, yeah, you've seen this before and we're going to do it again. Um, slightly less funny. Uh, but this, this is a story sequel. This is like, well, I want to know what has happened thir between, you know, 30 years ago when there was the last ghost sighting and, and the, the, the next part of the story, it introduces a new generation of, of Ghostbusters. It basically very, very similar to what Star Wars tried to do with the sequels. It's like, bring back some of the old cast, but at the same time, I hand over the legacy to the new generation. And then, of course, you need some actors that have played in, in, in similar roles, you know, Stranger Things and everything. Um, it, it's amazing. I love seeing the Ecto-1 again. It's also one of my frustrations is that for the reboot, they had this new Ecto. It's like, that's, that's, not, the, that's not the right car. So, oh my gosh, 
this is gonna be a hit, I'm pretty sure. And I, I was, I'm kind of surprised that we don't see Slimer, we don't see much. We, we do hear the sounds, the growling sounds of, the, of course, the big beast from, uh, you know, beyond the realm that we've seen in the first Ghostbusters movie, so that's cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to go back to the city, because I, I, I really want to see the old headquarters again. But, um, oh, maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, that was my first reaction. I am super excited. Thank you so much for watching. If you are excited as well or disappointed or what are you looking forward to in this movie, let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, please hit that subscribe button and, and this is very important, also the bell button so that you will get notified as soon as there's a new reaction video up. Thanks for watching. Take care.